the PlayStation Portable. This is the 3000 unit, which um, I have plugged in because I want to put it at its brightest setting. Anyways, this is um, its lowest setting actually, and it, it seems to tape better on that. Anyways, I'm going to talk about the PSP 3000, the PSP Go. While it's been pretty customary to knock on the PSP Go, um, there's a few things that we need to need to realize about it. There's a lot of work that needs to be done with PlayStation Network before the PSP is a viable console for anybody. Well, right now, on a PSP Network, we have, let's see, let's talk about UMDs, for example. Right now, they have a total of about 45 UMDs. Um, from their older library that are on PlayStation Network Store. I was looking through my UMDs I realized that I had to make a couple stacks. These are games. Over here, these are movies. I was going to go ahead and look at it and see what in my stack is already on PlayStation Network. I've got a good amount of stuff here that's already on PlayStation Network. Those are on PlayStation Network. They've already said that by October 1st when the PSP Go launches, everything on that's Sony first party will be available on PlayStation Network. And that's these. These are not on PlayStation Network in the United States yet, and there are some huge titles in here. For example, Resistance Retribution, God of War, the original Patapon, Daxter, and Loco Roco 2, all of which aren't on the network yet. Anywho, let's go ahead and add these to this stack over here. These are ones that will be, as of October 1st, guaranteed, hopefully, to be on the network. Over here is a stack of stuff from various com other companies that have games on the network right now like Ubisoft and uh, Capcom. So these are potential ones to be up there. Like Mega Man Powered Up, um, Monster Hunter, Free Hunter um, Freedom, Darkstalkers, Harvey Birdman, Power Stone, Mega Man X, Maverick Hunter, Exit, etc, etc. Now these are potentially, could be, there at launch. I actually, I doubt they'll be there at launch, but they should eventually make their way to the PSP Go. This stack right here is stuff that the co these companies like Konami, Square Enix, etc. do not have anything on PlayStation Network in the United States thus far. So these are all sorts of games including Final Fantasy Crisis Core, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy Tactics, all, or um, Star Ocean 1, Star Ocean 2, Silent Hill Origins, Metal Gear Acid 1 and 2, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus, a huge majority of stuff that's not on PlayStation Network. So if you get a PSP Go, chances are stuff in this pile you probably won't ever get to play because these companies don't have anything on PlayStation Network currently. Doesn't mean they won't have it in the future. Then we're going on to stuff that will probably never be on the American PlayStation Network. Stuff like import games like Pump It Up and compilation games like Capcom, the Capcom Collection, Namco Collection, SNK Collection, Atari Classics, etc., Taito Legends, SNK Arcade Collection. Um, this is the Samurai Showdown Anthology and Metal Slug Collection. These probably will not make it to PSN ever. Now we're moving on to movies. I'm, I'm only, I'm excluding stuff if you can rent it. Oh, this is only stuff you can own. This is the amount of titles that are on PlayStation Network right now that you can own. These are movies. Movies like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Resident Evil, The Princess Bride, Perfect Blue, Hellboy, Monty Python, The Holy Grail, The Matrix, Starship Troopers, etc. Here are TV shows that you can buy on PlayStation Network. Family Guy and Aeon Flux. Those are ones I own that 
you can actually buy on PlayStation Network right now. This is stuff you cannot buy on PlayStation Network to own. Some of them you can rent, some of them you can't. Items like Metropolis, The Incredibles, um, anime like Oh My Goddess, movies, Disney movies like The Chronicles of Narnia, or um, animated movies from Sony Pictures of all things like, uh, oh wait, this is uh, TV shows, like Final Fantasy, ad um, stuff like Final Fantasy, Advent Children, Tekken Kingcrete, which is a Sony product that they put out, not available yet for their to own, to own on the network. Things like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Odd odd choices like the net like National Treasure 1 and True 2. You cannot buy and own them on PlayStation Network right now. Sin City. Unbox the Tie Warrior Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2. Sony Sony put out Sony movies that were produced by Sony out in the United States like Steam Boy or Cowboy Bebop the movie Paprika. Uh, titles from Bandai, Bandai like Gundam, or titles that um like that the company is out of business like um, Akira, Casino Royale. You can't, you can rent it, but you cannot buy it. Fifth Element, cannot buy it. The Island, Labyrinth, Tomb Raider one and two can't buy them. To own them, you can you can rent some of them, but you can't own them. Then there are some items that you cannot get on UMD without getting a UMD. Like for example Stealth, you can buy this movie but the extra content in there you cannot get. Like the extra vehicles for Wipeout Pulse. I sorry, Pure. And then of course there's stuff like demo things which you can get some of these demos on PlayStation Network but eh, we're gonna forget those. And there's TV shows you can't rent on PlayStation Network or even own on PlayStation Network. Like Cowboy Bebop or the LEG show, or Spawn, or Read or Die. They are going to have to do a lot of shaping up. Sure, there's a lot of stuff that you can get on PlayStation Network that you cannot get on UMD. For example, uh, a lot of the old PlayStation 1 classics. And as of right now, there are 42 of those. Including Final Fantasy VII and Metal Gear Solid which is kinda cool. Then there's downloadable only games which are PlayStation Network exclusives. There's about 14 of those or so. There's not that many. But they'll have to step that up a little bit. I mean stuff like Everyday Shooter is very awesome and Flow. I love those. But where are items like Braid? Or Cave Story for that matter? <laughs> but we they will have to do a lot of stepping up if they intend to make the PSP Go worthwhile or make the PlayStation Network worthwhile. Right now I would suggest people don't buy the PlayStation Go, Portable Go. Go ahead and invest in a PSP 3000 or if you can find it the old 2000s although they don't have the better screen, the built-in microphone, the beveled edges, etc. But um, or the better, or the better D-pad, and the better stick, or the better buttons. Well, that's just a little overview of um, some of the problems right now with PlayStation Network. Like I said, PlayStation Network by October first might have these games, but they might never, if ever, have these. And buying a buying a buying a PSP Go instead of a 3000 is saying that well let's just pretend these probably might not get there anyways who knows do you think they'll really put Astonish's story on PlayStation Network they may or may not but let's look at it this way if you buy a PSP Go you're pretty much limiting yourself to this if you buy a PSP 3000 you're limiting yourself to this somewhat and of course with a PSP 3000 you can always download or purchase these. Isn't that worth saving about $250?